Hello everybody and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Yet again I'm here with a affordable, cheap but amazing fragrance. So if you know Zara, their fragrance department is kind of a mess. Like their, you can't trust their names, you can't trust their note breakdown, it's just like they will name a fragrance like Orange Dream or something and it will smell like Woodsy or Rose, like you can't trust the names ever. You have to always test anything from Zara. So that's what I did, I ordered three discovery set from Zara, the Classic Collection, the uh, Extra Collection, and the Paris Stories Collection. Uh, that means I tested 16 cents from the Men's Collection and I only like two. So that says a lot. But these two are really amazing. I bring one of them for you today and that is... Um, I can't pronounce it. Monsuri, maybe? I don't know, I'm sorry. The Paris Collection, okay. First of all, the Paris Collection is a unisex collection. I smelled all, it has a four cents. I smelled all of them. You can find it at the men's side of the website. So it, it's unisex, but it, they sell it on the men's side. Uh, maybe I'm gonna make a separate video about talking about all four cents because I have the samples uh, but I only like this one enough to actually purchase it. So the presentation. It sits right in this box. I think it's quite nice box. Like it's kind of creative and like unique. But yeah. The most important is the fragrance. So as you can see, it has a golden juice. Um, it has the name and the little description here. It just it says Zara here. The cap is just a cheap black cap, nothing special. The atomizer is also black. Oops. And yeah, that's it basically. It's kind of nice. I kind of like it. Uh, one thing, this is a 100 ml and you can only buy 100 from this collection, like there is no smaller bottle. As you can see I already used some, I bought it like two months ago and I have to say I really really enjoy this one. This one, one of my favorites actually, right now. Um, okay, sorry, the note breakdown. According to Fragrantica, it only has four notes and they listed Lavender, Musk, uh, Praline and Macaron. Now, I know from this list it sounds like a really feminine leaning fragrance, but actually it's more, it's not, it's not like those notes really. Praline, I can't smell at all. Macarons, I don't know. Not really. It's more like a burnt sugar and just this warm, spicy and kind of kind of ambery. Yeah, ambery. Especially the dry down is really ambery. This one, let me spray. Yeah, I love it. It's just so nice. Um, it's warm. It's cozy. It's it's slightly spicy. Um, some people say it's in the opening it reminds them of Baccarat Rouge 540. I actually never tried Baccarat Rouge but there are so many clones out there that I already kind of know what it smells like. Like this burnt sugary sweetness. Yeah it's definitely there but it's mostly in the opening. The dry down is much more like an incense warm, ambery, it's just so 
comforting and cozy it's so it's so beautiful i think this one is just for your for the price oh i forgot the price it uh, i bought this for like 20 bucks or like 17 euros maybe so it's kind of cheap for 100 ml i think yeah from the zara fragrances it's kind of on the expensive side but in general for the scent it's just mm, it's, it's, it's really it's really nice quality like from zara as, as i said i tested 16 scents from zara and some of them are straight up stinky this one though oh, it's amazing i don't know what happened with zara but this one this one is amazing I think it, it could be worn by men and women too, but it's slightly more masculine in my opinion, but definitely a woman can pull it off too. It's it's just very it's vintagey but not in a way that it's for like grandpas or grandmas or something. I mean not like there is anything wrong with that, but it's more like elegant, like it's just so classy mm. and the thing is you can't you wouldn't expect it from Zara but this one is really nice so yeah I think it's kind of out for a while now maybe they will discount it soon but again even the full price is kind of affordable if you think about it now I don't encourage anyone to blind buy especially not from Zara because maybe it's not for everyone but ah, it's just very really good it's so cozy and embery but I'm just repeating myself at this point so yeah definitely if you have a chance try sample it or try it at a shop if they are open around you or you have Zara around you because this I think this is the best of Zara man <sighs> amazing quality the longevity, longevity is, um, I mean, it's not that good, I'm gonna be honest, it's not that good, but again, it's so cheap, you can just spray a lot and respray and take it with you in your backpack and just, oh, it's amazing. For, for the price, it's totally worth it. Um, projection is also nice, and the first few hours is just, yeah, sorry, I skip. This is so addictive. Like, I keep smelling it. I have to put it down. It's it's really nice. So, yeah, um, definitely check it out. If you have it, let me know in the comments what you think about it. If you have any questions about it, just ask me. And I think I'm gonna do another video um, from the entire Paris collection. Honestly, some of them are more masculine leaning, some of them are more feminine leaning, but they are all allegedly unisex so if you are interested i'm gonna make a video about all of them and because again i don't see anyone talking about this but this is so cheap and so good mm, amazing so yeah thank you for watching please subscribe if you are interested in more similar videos uh, and yeah thank you for hanging out and that's it for today. Thank you so much. Bye.